high level view uh, that uh, many of the current engine tests that we use will need to be replaced. Uh, I think it's obvious uh, that in all regions of the world, fuel economy and uh, environmental standards and regulations uh, will become more stringent, not less stringent. And uh, I think uh, to be able to take away is that's going to uh, lead to many different uh, powertrain uh, choices and types uh, to try to achieve those, um, to meet those goals. Uh, and then uh, we'll get into some uh, future tests that GM uh, sees as, as possible to, uh, to address some of these different powertrains that are going to be available. Uh, currently, these are the uh, uh, engine tests that we use for DEXOS 2. Uh, the CEC tests, uh, we use TU5, TU3, uh, M111 fuel economy test, um, uh, DB. Uh, 4TD and then uh, Mercedes test and then PW uh, direct injection test. Uh, the ASTM API tests are in the sequence of 3G and uh, 5G. And then uh, the GM tests that we use are the uh, OP1 and then uh, after the OP1, the aeration. Uh, and then we have the RNT and then the DURO 19. Uh, we also use uh, now the um, N271 flush uh, test. Uh, for DEXOS 1, um, we use the uh, TU5, TU3, um, and then with the uh, ASTM API test, it's the sequence 3G, uh, 5G, uh, 6G, and sequence 8. It's the uh, fuel economy test. 